What's happening, everybody? This is Scott. I'm back. It's been a minute. But, uh, yeah, I'm back with uh, this picture. Um, you're going to see a lot of things change from the front to the end of this picture. And the reason why is because uh, this picture took 65 hours. Okay? 65 hours! Hours! All right, never mind. Uh, <laughs> that didn't, you know. Um, so anyway, this took 65 hours, and uh, let's see, how many did I figure? About 57 of those hours were done over the last 19 days, I think. Uh, because every night, I started streaming live my drawing sessions. So I beg, I implore. It's so hard to get people to, 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 to give a shit about what you do, right? So like... Everything's stacked up against you when you, when you uh, join a new platform or something like that because nobody sees what you're doing. Anyway, so I found it best for my own motivation and whatnot to uh, start streaming on um, twitch.tv slash B-O-N-O-B-O-J-U-I-C-E, okay? Twitch.tv, the live streaming uh, gamer platform, but they have a creative section. And that is my home now, or at least it has been for the last uh, t t 20 days or something like that. Um, I did one day, and then I took the next day off. I don't know why, but I regret it, because after that, it just, I sailed for like 18 days straight, putting in an average of three hours a night, um, getting this thing done. And uh, let's see, 20 hours, no, no, no. So yeah, like, let's see, 65 hours total of this thing. About 57 of those were uh, done in the la crammed into the last, uh, you know, 19 days or so. Um, every night. And uh, this is around the time when I first started uh, doing live streaming, the live streaming portion. Um, so that's where, right there, you see, like, little things pop up. Those are my little, um, I was going to say the word interstitial. I don't know if that's a word. If it is, I don't think I used it right, but... Um, I have my little, uh, 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 my little graphics and stuff. I spent weeks doing these, these graphics, okay? And, um, then I realized I put in the same amount of effort, too. I was putting in work nightly to get to prepare for this live streaming thing. And, um, I, uh, I realized as I was doing it, I had a couple ideas left over that I wanted to get done, get ready, before I started going live and resuming drawing. And, of course, I talked myself out of it, realizing... This is not what's important. Getting back to drawing is what's important. Um, and then eventually I did, and, you know, and then I was rolling with it. Uh, what else do I have to say about this one? I, uh, you know, see, I moved my camera. You know what I mean? It was, uh, 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 it was brought upon my attention that this one behind shot that I've used forever is a little uh, impersonal. And I took that to heart, and I said, that's, you know, great feedback. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I didn't know what I was doing when I started doing this one in particular. This is uh, Cersei Lannister from uh, Game of Thrones. And um, I, something froze when it freaked me out uh, just then. That's why I paused. Um, so I bit off more than I could chew with this one because I thought, wow, what a badass. When we were watching it live uh, a couple months ago, I was like, wow, what a badass uh, moment. Very powerful moment. I won't say what's happening in the scene, but like it's a very powerful moment. And uh, Cersei is wearing a kick-ass outfit that I was just like, "That's badass. This looks badass. I need to get a screenshot of this, and I need to draw it." And um, you know, so uh, what did I do? What did I do? Um, I spent the majority of that sixty-five hours trying my hardest, my damnedest, to do justice to this outfit. And I can't even believe that I'm third of the way through this time lapse. And I haven't even put color into it. Uh, no, there we go. Now we're starting. The squares. See, at first it looks like she's wearing some kind of Dale Earnhardt shit um, with these checkers. And they are technically checkered. Okay? Now this, I was splitting it up. Well, I was taking a lot of bathroom breaks back then. Um, yeah, I was like splitting it up mostly by eye. I was trying to do some um, technical crap. And then I realized I could just eyeball everything into fifths. That's what I was trying to do, was cutting it into fifths. And uh, let's see. So 
at this point, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of uh, sussing out. Is that a word? Like, I'm sussing out the details, like getting a game plan together. And then after that, it was a couple of weeks straight of squares and detailing every little one of these little moon holes. You know what I'm saying? These little moon holes. Oh, I was showing up. That's a, that's, a, that's a teaser for something that I'm doing. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. If I'm live streaming everything that I'm doing, then uh, you know it doesn't matter. That was an unfinished thing that uh, I plan to resume and finish completely very quickly, uh, or at least in the very near future, I mean. So anyway... Um, I put so much care, I guess you could say, into this one that as a whole, all the little things that I, the little details that I, uh, that I, that I, um, might nitpick about personally, they, they, they can be set to rest because as a total, like a, the totality of the picture, I'm, I'm, I have to say I'm happy with, but of course, like when you spend 65 hours, you know, uh, crammed into one focused image um you hate it you love it you forgive yourself you fl flog flog yourself fla self-flagellation there's a word that sounds like flagellation that means like to to beat yourself up to like whip yourself or something like that uh monks do it or something like that um and i've always been uh, uh not confident with that word or saying it or using it because it sounds like flatulation and it always makes me think like well of course you must have it like you're close but you're not on the mark you don't know how to say the word uh, what else is going on what else is going on um let's see i can't believe like yeah i'm not even halfway through this uh time lapse because this is such a long time lapse this is going back so far that uh it's amazing how far behind him. This the neck was like, what the hell am I doing? Like I kind of uh, figured out how far these squares span, and yet uh, I seem to have. Um, what did I do? Like I mixed the, the the little beveled bump squares with the little ones with the the, the, the three notches on them and shit. And uh, so I kind of mixed up what would have made sense. So I was always kind of doing not the opposite, but like doing an altered version of um, what I was seeing in the picture. See, there it's coming together. I, was, I would zoom out, look at the whole thing, and realize that, uh, okay, like something's coming together here. Um, the, the, the shoulders and the, 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 the chain that, that connects the shoulder pieces were like the least of my worries when it came to these, these squares, which became my life. It really became my life for like a week and a half, maybe. I don't really remember how long it was, but every single night for at least a week and a half, maybe closing on, on two weeks, I was just going nuts with these squares. And then I started doing the shoulders, and I realized the shoulders were like... I know what the shoulders are. I have reference photos of the shoulders. They're lions, but they're at an angle. And when you're looking at the reference photo, I'm just trying to, to emulate the reference photo. When you look at the reference photo, it's not, you can only tell those like uh, little swirl things on the edge. What's that thing called a fleur de resistance? What's that? No, it's not. Um, that, that, that thing that the, the, the Louisiana, uh, who's, who's down there? The, the saints, you know what I mean? It's that thing, that symbol that, that, that has the little like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it's called, but I know that, like, you know, I have close friends who would be kicking me right now saying it's the fleur de fleece. Le fleur de... No, that sounds too French. Wait. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, you know, this is coming together kind of nicely. Every time that I would have those right there, those kind of, like, just scratches to get the idea of the um, where the light's coming from and everything, when I would zoom out and I'd squint my eyes and i go, okay, it's starting to look... Uh, it's starting to make sense, you know what I mean? But then, of course, even when it started to make sense, I had to go over each and every one and make sure that it made sense. Is there a better way to do it? Maybe. But I'm not the artist who knows that. Like, there might be way more seasoned veterans who are like, you didn't have to do all this, or maybe they said you did have to do all this. I have no idea. I had no reference point. I'm floating in space, man. I'm spinning in my own, like, little, um, not even orbit. I'm just, like, spinning on my own axis out in space. So as far as the right or wrong thing to do, I have no idea. I'm just glad that I had the discipline to work every single day for oh, two and a half weeks with no plans to stop. Um, 
you know, like I kind of started treating it like my, like a job, like a second job, which is what I've always, which what I always kind of should have been doing the whole time. But, uh, you know, there was something about going live with it, even though like, you know, um, you have a lot of like singles that would just come in, you'd see a number count and then they would just pop out in a minute. It's like, yeah, whatever, that's fine, I guess. But, um, there was still something about it that kind of gave me a more obligatory feeling like I committed to something, um, you know, more than just my own willingness to, uh, cause any given day I could just tell myself like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't have to do this tonight. I could do this tomorrow. There's plenty of days in the week and all that stuff. This is me going over uh colorblind shit. Um, uh, what do you call it? I was doing a colorblind test, hanging out one night with a, uh, uh, uh a regular, if you want to call him that, you know, I had, uh, I had company throughout this thing, uh, and it, and it, and it felt pretty damn good, you know? Um, let's see. Star of the shoulder pads here? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, shout outs to Kua, okay? So anyway, back to this, um, I was doing the, 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 the tang things, which look like poop emojis on hearts, or like little ice cream cones with an upside down heart. It could be like a band, um, like a band logo or something. Oh, let's see. So when I first started doing these shoulder pads, it was like nightmarish. I felt like I was doing a crazy carnival light strewn, abstract, vomitous looking uh, pattern. I had no idea what I was getting into when I first started this one. No idea. All I know is I was like, this is badass and I want to hopefully do it justice. And that included the outfit and the outfit consumed so I, I totally uh must have skipped over the fact that i finished the shoulder pad on the left it was good enough i was happy um i learned a little something about uh this was actually really fun after all the squares and stuff doing this chain was really like relieving somehow or uh refreshing you know what i mean like figuring out how to get the kind of like the chain to to to, to spin well, not spin, but yeah, rotate on itself and everything. So that was actually pretty fun. That felt so refreshing. This was after I finished the, the squares, and it took forever, you know? Uh, and I actually, I did the, the, the chain in the middle to step away from this other shoulder because I realized that the shoulders were, were driving me insane too. And the hardest part is that part that's big and unfinished right uh, on the outside there. Because there's just a lot of sparkles and funny colors that I didn't know what was going on. And I just had to keep chopping away at it until I could sort of like say it's done. And that took a while. And then eventually I was happy with it. Like really happy with it. Just like, this is good. This is fine. And then I stepped away, you know? So, I don't know. This might be one of the craziest ones I've ever done. I don't know. It's really weird. It's almost like you, you get not beaten down by it you you just are running on a pure compulsion to finish a piece um and it and it's not like a, i don't know it's just weird hard work that's rewarding but eventually by the end of it you don't know you don't know what you're happy about you don't know you don't know whether you did a good job or a bad job you really don't um the background was done very quickly not very quickly like you know not quickly, like, it, it was just, it was fast in comparison to everything else. Oh, this is me blowing off steam, too. I started uh, sketching over her and, and turned her into a, a fireball-throwing wizard. Just to blow off a little bit of steam at the end of it. And then, of course, I deleted the layer. But anyway, uh, twitch.tv slash bonobojuice. That's the only thing I'm pushing right now. That's the only thing I'm, I'm, I'm you know, pimping, if you will. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.